The first time I remember being bullied, God, the first grade, it, it started really early. And everywhere you look, it's all primarily white. And so all the kids on my bus said that I was burnt because I am darker. And, um, and so that was like a, a big joke up through like fourth grade. As it kept going on, I was like, okay, this is getting kind of annoying. And then, oh wow, that kind of hurts. And then it kept going, but I never really talked about it until middle school. I developed an eating disorder. Um, I would, because I, I am overweight and that wasn't, that made me an easy target. And so I thought that, oh, well, if I eat what I want and then get rid of it later, I'm not really gaining anything. And so I would eat and then I would throw it up. And that was really hard because really in middle school, I started thinking, oh, I don't look like all of these people. I must not be good enough. In high school, it got significantly worse. <laughs> Um, it was called a, a f beaner, which is like, if you're gonna insult someone, at least be creative, dude. Like, come on. A lot of people would chant when I would like walk by, oh, we're gonna build a wall, build a wall, build a wall. And then, and then like every time I, I was in, I was in the hallway, I was sitting down and I was doing homework and some kid came by me and he goes, oh, you Mexicans have another thing coming. And it's like all levels of like discomfort <laughs> and um, just, I, I didn't have a home anymore at school. And another space where I realized that I really just don't belong there is I was at orientation. And everybody, you know, you look around, like everybody's in the gym getting their classes and they're comparing their schedules and you know, whatever. And I saw it was like, a, like one of those like weird teen movies where everything's bustling around and you see the one person standing still. And I was watching everybody <laughs> with all of their friends. <laughs> and I'm standing there and nobody's coming over to say hi to me. And nobody, like I, I knew no one and I didn't have any connection with anyone that wasn't in the least bit sincere. And I think that was the point when I realized I just needed to start over and I couldn't be around all of these people that thought I was a terrible person without trying to talk to me. I've moved to a new school and now everything seems to be positive. Nobody knows anything unless I tell them. And that has been a huge difference because now there isn't anybody saying like, oh, I know her, she's whatever, whatever, whatever. Now they're saying like, oh, who are you? Let me get to know you because I haven't seen you at all ever. And I have the control and I have the power of how much I tell them. And that has been so wonderful <laughs> because they don't like, yes, they can judge me just by looking at me, but because they don't know me or know of me, they don't have enough information to make snap judgments. If you have one word, only one word you can use to summarize what it feels like to be bullied, what, what's the first word that comes to your mind? The first word is gross. <laughs> but I think the word that I would use would be in between because when everything's getting thrown at you, 
there's a point where you feel numb to it. And no one should ever feel numb to it. But there's a point where you, it no longer makes you angry or sad. You're just in between. And you're numb. And everything coming at you, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and everything coming at you no longer makes you feel a certain way. <laughs> Except bad. And in the realm of bad, there's no specific emotion that comes out. You're just in between. And I want to end this on a positive note. So I, don't want to end. I don't want the end, this to end with you having tears down your eyes. So I want you to take the tears okay. off of your eyes. And I want you to tell me four of the best qualities about you. I am creative helpful, nice, talented. And do you have friends now that see that in you? Yes. And so would you say you have one? Yes. Well, that's awesome. So, screw bullies. <laughs>